All right, man. Troy Weaver, you know, reveals his mindset on the Sadiq Bay trade. So let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. And apparently, uh, Saturday night, the dubs, Golden State Warriors, you know, played, uh, they played, uh, the Lakers and lost. But Gary Payton, the second, who got is the reason this trade is, uh, could be vetoed, sat at the end of the bench. So a lot of fans thinking that the Warriors are just going to continue to move on with the trade at hand. So with him sitting on the end of the bench, seemed like they kind of cool with his core muscle injury and that this trade will go through. Now the Warriors got until, you know, 930 Sunday, um, I think evening, to making a decision on whether they want to veto the trade or not. So if they choose to veto the trade, that means James Watson will go back, and that means that you know uh, Sadiq Bay would come back, and those five second round picks would go back to the Golden State Warriors. But a lot of people got some hope that you know Gary Payton II um, joined the bench, you know, in the game yesterday. So they might just be comfortable with his core muscle injury, and I think for them, it's all about not paying that uh you know James Wiseman contract number because they so far un, you know over the cap so uh over the luxury cap so but uh kind of a little little tidbit right there but i mean we gotta we gotta wait and see we gotta wait and see but it's looking like he could be staying um so you know interesting just just kind of a little development it might be said and done before this video go up but it says Troy Weaver reveals mindset behind Sadiq Bay trade. Um, so he said Weaver thinks those are coming soon. So let's read the whole thing. Like, he said Detroit Troy Weaver interview reveals the reasoning behind uh the trade. So it says that um the funniest part of the interview to me was Troy asking fans of the Detroit Pistons to be patient, buddy. We have been. <laughs> He said the Pistons haven't won a playoff game since 2008, so our patience extends well beyond Weaver's time in Detroit. We have no choice but to be patient, but fans are also eager to see the, some fruits of their unlimited patience we have shown already. Weaver thinks those are coming soon, and adding some size and that lesson will help hear some of what he had to say about the trade for Wise. He said top four teams in the East, Boston, Milwaukee, Philadelphia, Cleveland, if we have won a chance to compete in the East, look at those teams. They're all top 12 defenses. They're all big. We've played all those teams that we've been disadvantaged size-wise against all those teams. If we can't rebound, we can't play at the rim, we don't have a chance. Adding a guy like Washington to Bagley and Stewart and Durham really gives us a chance. So a lot of people kind of see that as, you know, overkill, um, you know, because you got, you know, you know, Bagley and Wiseman. Durham, how many how many are you going to play? You can't play them, you know, all solid minutes. You know, that's our thing about it. Stewart is he should be the odd guy out. You know, but he just don't want to let go. But whatever he believe, he believe gonna work, bro. But Bagley and Stewart ain't it. And Wiseman very may well be it. And that's what you hoping, you hoping, um, hoping for that Wiseman is it, but um I mean, you know, whatever he see fit, bro. It just seemed like he values certain guys. And, I, you know, I don't know, bro. You know, you do need to be big. Cleveland is big. And you know, Philadelphia got Joel and B. But, you know, you know, when you look at, you know, Philadelphia, it's really Joel and B, bro. Tobias is a blown up, you know, three. And, you know, Boston is good. I love, you know, love Tatum. He damn near seven foot. You know, you got, uh, you know, Al Horford and them. But, yeah, you got to be better at the rim. But you got to have the right type of guys. And, you know, hopefully Wiseman is that. He's athletic and, you know, a bunch of potential. You know, it's a bunch of potential there. Bunch of potential. It's a bunch of potential there. So, I mean, you know, we don't – yeah, he, like like Aaron Keller Stretcher said in the article, we don't have no other choice but to be patient.
You know what I'm saying? We don't have no other choice. You know, but he right. You know, you got to compete on the boards and you got to have the right guys, man. You got to be athletic. You got to be and then offensively. They can't limit, you know, what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing he got to remember. He got to remember, too. They can't limit what you got going on. And that's one the one of the you know rules he got he got to remember on the offensive end you got to have shoot you got to have some shooting out there you know what I'm saying but in size ain't everything just going to the boards and all that type of stuff bro you got to have the right type of size because you get on that defensive side of the court and they get you know took to the bucket and they ain't athletic and quick enough but that's why you like during athleticism and that's why you like um, James Wiseman athleticism, but we'll see. But as far as tasting big man so far, he ain't got none other than Dern. He ain't got none. You know, Marvin Bagley can't defend, can't defend a brown paper bag inside the paint. No defense. Isaiah Stewart can't defend. You know what I'm saying? That's the crazy thing about it. He keep falling in love with big fellas. Who can't defend? You can't have that. If you're gonna have somebody out there on the floor who 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 offensively challenged, you got I mean, you got and you know, ain't offensively that guy, you gotta have somebody that gotta lock down the paint. It just gotta happen. You need somebody that can lock down that paint. You need it. It just has to happen. You gotta have somebody that can lock down the paint, bro. You gotta have it. Somebody that's gonna that's gonna be ten toes down, you know, rebound, blocking shots, the whole nine, the whole nine. So that's what that's what I don't, that's what I don't understand. You keep getting these big fellas who can't who can't defend. Bagley can't block shots, can't stop nobody from going to the rim. Isaiah Stewart just too small. So with Wiseman and Durham, hopefully that changed. Hopefully that does change, and I think it could change. But right now, him asking people to be patient, and that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. So let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Unsubscribe uh, the channel. Hit the bell icon button. Uh, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Excuse me. Thumbs up the video. Appreciate the love support. Check out Detroit Pistons Talk playlist. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Hit my link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.